Hey guys, it's Leah. So today I'm going to be showing you my newborn um, cloth diaper stash. Um, I don't think I'm going to be buying any more. Um, whether or not people send me some for review, that might be. But um, as far as me adding more to my stash, I will not be doing that. So I'm going to go through and show you what makes up um, our newborn stash this time around. Let's start with um, these diapers right here. These are um, TH THX brand. They're um, like a knockoff of the Little Joey's. And I have um, 12 of those right here. Uh, this is what they look like. They literally look exactly like a Little Joey um, with the double gussets inside. It's a sewn and all in one. Um, these, I loved how cute they were. But um, with Wesley, they didn't work very long because he was such a heavy wetter. Um, so hopefully I'm just... Last time this was the majority of our stash. And because of that, we had a hard time um, continuing to cloth diaper. But um, maybe this time we won't have a heavy, wet, heavy wetter. So the next ones I'm going to show you are these three. This one is kind of similar to the THX brand. It is a... Um, Happy Behinds. The difference is that it has um, two snaps on the wings. And the inside looks very similar, but instead of microfiber on the inside, there is like a hemp or bamboo, bamboo blend. And the other difference is this has a snap down for the rise. So that is, I just have one of these, and I really just got it because I thought that the alligator print was really, really, really cute. So there's that one. I have one more um, Happy Behinds newborn. So this is a little different. It gets a little bit bigger. It has four snaps here. And it's an all-in-one pocket. This is a Happy Flute brand. And um, kind of similar to the THX again. Except there's, this isn't just microfiber, it's some sort of other blend, which I thought might last a little bit longer as far as absorbency. Next I'm going to move over here. So these are all my um, Thirsty's newborn all-in-one diapers. These four are um, the microfiber inserts, and then all of these from in the back are going to be the um, natural fibers. I got five of these, these four, and then this one used, and I got the, um, other ones. I got them, um, on sale for, like, under 14, some were 12, um, because they were discontinued prints. So I'll just show you what they look like. Here is an, um, natural. And then here is the one with the microfiber. So, just a little bit different. So next are these six. Oh, these are my Bum Genius extra small diapers. Um, I kind of had the same problem with these is that they were really cute. Did not fit right away. Did take about a week for them to start fitting. Um, but the absorbency did not work. And I had gotten those used. These four right here are um, Totspot's Teeny Fit. Uh, I did not use these with Wesley. Um, I got them after he had stopped when he had grown out of newborn cloth diapers and just put them away. And I forgot to mention that I also got the Thirsties this time around. I did not have the Thirsty um, all-in-ones. These eight right here are ones that I made. These white ones are very little, they're kind of like the THX, um, except I they just don't have enough absorbency in them and they're actually really, really itty bitty. Wes wore them very, for a very short time because he started wetting them with the absorbency. This is a newborn pocket I made and it's just stuffed with some cotton stuff. This is an all-in-one. 
that I made. This is um, another one I made, but just never fit right because I don't know if you can tell. It's like one leg is bigger than the other. <laughs> so the joys of trying to make your own cloth diapers. It's, a little, it's harder than you think. You have to be really precise, especially with the snaps. This is what I made this time around. Uh, has a dip down and a couple rice settings. Three layers of cotton sewn in here, two layers of hemp, and a microfiber with stay dry on top. This last one is a Cushy's baby, baby, I don't know. Um, I got it on eBay, I think, from someone. Uh, personally, I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. It's kind of a not very comfortable material. Also, it's kind of big. I don't know, think this will... I think it's going to be pretty big on a newborn, but we'll find out. Now over to my fitteds. So let's start back here. These um, are all fitted flannel diapers that I had made before Wesley was born. Um, they, they worked alright. They weren't very absorbent, um, but they worked okay. Oh, sorry. Um... I mean, they were pretty much free for making them because it was all material that I had on hand. So I'm just, might as well just keep them and see if this baby is not a heavy wetter. Let's move over here. These four are fitted, also fitted that I made. These two are made um, when Wesley, before Wesley was born. Um, same thing, just this is um, a old blanket, an old blanket. Um, stuffed with some absorbent material in here. Ah, uh, this was like another, like a towel or something. And with a soaker inside. Really, we fit him really well in the beginning, just really trim and cute. These two are diapers that I made. Um, this time around are fitted diapers. So here's this one. I just made these out of old um, pajamas. It's like a cotton velour and an inside soaker. And this one's just about the same. These two are my workhorse um, newborns that Green Mountain Diaper sent me. And this is the medium that they sent me. Or the small, sorry. Yeah, the small. Um, this is a Thirsties fitted size size one. I did not. This was not something I had with Wesley. I bought this after he was out of newborn diapers. Now let's go to the covers. This is a thirsty size one, and then I have three bummies covers, which are my favorite. And then these are just two covers that I made. Those are all ones that I had with Wesley. These are ones that I um, am adding to my stash. This is a size zero um, clothies um, cover and a size one that they sent me. And then I have five of these um, Happy Flute newborn covers. Over here are some newborn pre-folds that I had gotten before Wesley was born. I got them used and they look a lot like the Clothies brand, but they don't have any tags on them. And the person, I don't think they were selling them as Green Mountain Diaper pre-folds. I honestly can't remember, um, but they look pretty similar. But like I said, I don't know because they don't have um, any markings on them. But I have about 20 of those. Somebody was just selling like a ton of them. Um, and they worked really great um, with Wes. So hopefully those work great with this baby. So in this drawer, I just have kind of like the um, add-on things uh, like wipes 
So this is all of my cloth wipes because we, we used cloth wipes with Wesley. It was always just easiest for me. Um, we used baby washcloths and then mixed in, you can kind of see like these gray ones are fleece that I had made and some of them are like stained a little, but they all worked really great. Um, this one, I think was a pack I got off the Kawaii website, which did not hold up great. Um, probably the worst, like just not great. Um, then these top ones are the ones that Green Mountain Diapers sent me to try out, which I'm off really excited about. So a ton of those. And then, um, from my shower with Wes, a lot of people gave me baby washcloths. So I just have extra baby washcloths in case like we need some more wipes. And then these, um, Huggies reusable wipes bags. That's what I use on the go when, um, I need to put some wipes and some water in there. Over here, I have some diaper liners, which like came free and something that I bought. I never really use them, but we have them. Here are all my flower sack towels. I have a ton of them, as you can see. Uh, those were great for using as flats, for burp cloths, because Wesley was like, he spit up like 20 times a day until he was like nine months old. So we used these as burp cloths and also as diapers, um, and those were great. And they're so cheap, you really can't go wrong there. Oh, here's more. These are just burp cloths. Over here, I just have um, like extra inserts. Um, so mostly they're ones I made, like this is one I bought. That goes to, I think, a newborn diaper. This is a like a hemp Best Bitem insert, but these are like all ones that I made, just kind of bamboo and hemp doublers. And if you thought I was done, I am not. <laughs> So these are what um, the Green Mountain Diapers sent me. So they sent me four of the newborn prefolds, And you can see, like, they're a little... Okay, so these down here were some of the extra ones that I couldn't fit in the drawer that I had bought. And you can see that they're very similar. But the, the color is a little different. So whether maybe they changed the, the edge color... Um, I don't know, but if anybody knows what these could be, if they're not the Clothies brand, let me know. So, four of the Clothies, um, newborn, four of the Novice, which are similar in size, maybe a teeny bit bigger, but also they're thinner. Um, it's only two ply, I think, on here, whereas these are, like, four ply. And then these are... Yeah, so these are the newbie and these are the novice which I'm not sure what the size is comparable to if it's kind of like a small um, so four of those and even more diapers you guys so these are all newborn diapers that are called newborn but they're a lot bigger than a new like a typical newborn diaper and they did not fit Wesley right away um, so, like, these, right here, these, um, these six are ones that I made, and I actually made them to be, like, an interim between a newborn diaper and a one-size diaper, because sometimes you can go to a newborn, to, go from newborn diapers to one-size, but the, the one-size can end up being really, really big, um, just bulky. So I made these, they're like, like a medium, like, I don't know what, how to explain it. So let me show you against the one size diaper. This is the smallest this one gets. And this is the smallest of a Kawhi Goodnight Heavy Wetter. So you can see how much smaller it is. Putting that on like a newborn that's growing out of the absorbency of their um, newborn diapers would be really big and bulky. So this one is just kind of like an interim where there's room to grow because they're snap down, but um, it's not going to fit them till potty training. So I have six of those, um, five are snaps, this one is Velcro, they're all just pocket diapers. 
these three are the Kawhi Green Baby um, newborn diapers. And they all come with two bamboo inserts. And these did not fit Wesley right away, um, but they fit well after he was kind of growing out of his newborn diapers. These are the Happy Flute newborn in Velcro. I have six of those. Um, they're pockets with a sewn in like bamboo insert. And then you can stuff them if you need more absorbency. They're, they have a snap down rise and they have Velcro, which is really nice. So those, I really love those. And then here are two um, like interim covers. These are two bummies size small, which says eight to 15 pounds, which is probably about right. And then here are two bummies, super bright size smalls. They're just, these are just a little bit um, thicker, the material. I remember somebody commenting that one is TPU and one is PUL, and that's why some of them are thicker, but that they're both say PUL on there, so I don't know, but this one is, these are a little bit softer um, and malleable, and these are a little bit thicker. So like these are nice at night because uh, there's just a little bit more thickness um, to avoid um, them leaking. Yeah, so that is my whole newborn stash right now. I, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more diapers. I think we're pretty good, um, much more prepared than we were with Wes. And I think we're also prepared for a heavy wetter where I, I don't think I realized that newborns could pee so much. So I think we are in good shape and um, I have some more diapers coming in, some one size diapers. And once I get those, I will be doing my one size diaper stash. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.